hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be looking on the video of president trump's or should i say former president trump's assassination attempt now i believe that this happened two days ago and i caught wind of it and i was hearing a lot of um theories as it relates to is it faked is it something that he's doing in order to try to win the next presidential election i do not no, I did not officially see the video, but I saw articles on it on Yahoo, on Google, and on other social media platforms. So I said, hey, let's look at the video, be the judge, as well as see some of these theories that are being spoke about. So let's do this, guys. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old and... If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. I mean, I don't know if this is scripted. It could be because you know that some of these politicians, as well as movie stars, they do things in order to further a agenda. I don't know. I mean, if you just got shot, why are you asking for your shoes? Mm. If someone was shooting at me, my shoes would be the last thing that I would be looking for. But to each their own, I guess. I don't know. Everyone's reaction is different. Let me get my shoes. Sir. Hold that in your head. Bloody. So we got to move to the class. Watch out. And he's saying, wait. Watch out. And he has a fist up. Like, what? this is crazy okay i really did not see this video but the fact that he's like let me get my shoes and then and then usa that's kind of suspicious because i don't know everyone's reaction is different in emergencies but if that was me i would be like all right you're trying to kill me you're trying to shoot me i'm gone i'm not there i would run I don't know if there's like a protocol to these things. I mean, he was surrounded by, you know, security. But I heard reports that they nicked him in the air. I'm not sure if it's the left or the right ear. But they nicked him. I mean, I would be concerned about my safety. I wouldn't be like, let me get my shoes, let me get my shoes. I mean, I'm Donald Trump. I can buy as many shoes that I want to buy. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a billionaire. Why am I um caring about a shoe that just doesn't make any sense you know but um i could see why people say this is scripted uh we just have a couple of seconds left off of this video i don't think there's anything else of substance to watch because he's getting into the car but it it the reaction versus the action that's being done it doesn't match up if you know what i mean you know um so there's another video that I saw. I haven't watched it. It says D.L. Hughley calls out Trump's assassination, right? Attacked as script, scripted. 
so we're gonna watch it and then we comment it and wrap up you know okay so the video isn't playing on my laptop so i got my tablet right here and we're gonna watch it on the tablet and i'll project the video somewhere here let's go the country is still dealing with the after effects of the alleged assassination attempt on Donald Trump this past weekend at his Pennsylvania campaign rally. News outlets have begun to identify the shooter as a 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. While hosting a rally for re-election in Butler, Pennsylvania, several loud pop noises were heard, presumed to be gunshots, which led to the former president hitting the ground, then immediately being surrounded by the Secret Service agents. Before Trump hit the ground, his hand would touch his right ear. As he was quickly escorted off stage, blood was seen leaking from the former president's ear as he began fist pumping. As more information continues to come out regarding the tragic event, most of the country's thoughts and energy have been dedicated to this unexpected event. Not long after the incident, comedian D.L. Hughley would take to Instagram and offer his thoughts on the situation. He would repost the infamous video of Trump being taken away by his Secret Service with a bloody ear. Hughley's caption read, The double fist pump at the end for the crowd was the perfect touch. Exactly. Because when he was like, I'm like, the only reason you would do that is for black power. You know, I only see black people doing this with like black, um, with the Black Panther movement as well as like Black Lives Matter and things like that. So why? You just got shot, well, nicked in the ear and you're bleeding. Why are you? That's so, it seems fake. Okay. I'm not saying it's fake. But it seems fake. It doesn't seem authentic. Because as I said before, if you just got shot at, why are you? Like, aren't you afraid that they're going to shoot you again? You see what I mean? It just looks like bad acting. And I'm not, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I am not someone that goes around and says, um, spreads misinformation. But I'm just saying, look, look at it from a neutral eye. I am neither Democrat nor Republican. I am just somebody that's, that's just minding their business on the internet and watching things and, you know, having fun. But this, this doesn't look real. I could be wrong, but for me, it doesn't look real. And scene. If Tubi had an award show, this should definitely be nominated in the scripted reality category. And from the looks of Hughley's comments under the Instagram post, he isn't the only one questioning the validity of this moment. One user on social media would claim the shooting was fake and wrote, this dude casually bent down after getting shot or shot at. Then this guy on the first row in the white shirt is videoing while rounds are still going off. Ah, uh, okay. This clown playing in the whole world face. Another social media user would agree and react, this was fake as a $3 bill. Boo. Now, in addition to Hughley and his followers, Amanda Seals received a lot of backlash after claiming the attempted assassination was staged. Shortly after, Seals would also take to Instagram and share her thoughts, stating that the shooting was more staged than a Tyler Perry production and gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on a stove. Seals would say she believes the stage shooting was done to try and show Trump's strength, especially when compared to Biden's fragility. Exactly. Because the way how the shots sound, it's, it sounded, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like gunshots. It sounded like, I don't want to say popcorn, but <laughs> I don't know. It just didn't sound authentic. I don't know if you, if you have ever heard gunshots before, but gunshots are louder and they're more screeching and they're more distinct than what happened. This just sound like pops, like pop, pop. That's how it sounds. It didn't sound like a gunshot, you know? And I mean, if you're going to be a sniper and snip his ear, like you miss bro, like way it would have been more believable if it was in the shoulder i'm sorry <laughs> i know it sounds bad but it would be more believable if he got shot in the shoulder not saying that i want him to i don't but i'm just saying it would have been more believable you know but 
if this is true and he really got shot in the air and it wasn't staged my heart goes out to trump really and truly but if this is staged you don't have to do this in order to win an election campaign it's ridiculous and it's just crazy at this point However, after receiving more information on the matter, Seals would take back her initial statement, creating a new Instagram video saying that although the gun was real and the gunshots were real, it doesn't mean they didn't stage a real shooting. All right, well, I got some intel. Turns out it was real, y'all. I mean, at least the gun was real and the shots were real. We couldn't see them, but we could hear them. So we walked up. And probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea. We noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. He had a rifle. a rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's guy on the roof with a rifle police were like huh what you know like like they didn't know what was going on you know we're like hey right here on the roof we can see him from right here next thing you know i'm like i'm thinking to myself i'm like why is trump still speaking why have they not pulled him off the stage but that's I'm what i'm saying i'm saying this is why people are saying that it's fake because if you just got shot at why are you still speaking why hasn't security detail gotten you off the stage why are you talking about you need your shoe and um yeah, that's why people are saying that it is fake because the reaction that Trump is given isn't a reaction that you would expect um, when someone is being shot at. And I'm not saying that he's supposed to wimp like a coward. That's not what I'm saying. And I do understand that people have different reactions to danger, but it just seems a bit inauthentic, you know, as if he was kind of expecting to be um, shot at or nicked or something. And they're pointing at him for two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. You, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy? Absolutely. 100%. Okay. okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards? or? Yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead. And that was it. It was over. It doesn't mean that they didn't stage a real shooting because you can't put anything past these crooks. But Well, that's true. But anyways, guys, I think that the rest of the videos that are on the internet would basically reiterate the same point. Some persons are saying that it was real. Some persons saying that it was an act of God, that Trump didn't die. Um, I saw um, some persons post, I didn't watch the videos, but I saw a post about the fact that um, it nicked his ear so um god was protecting trump there are a lot of mixed views on this situation for me personally i don't know if this was staged i don't know if this was real you know that in hollywood because you know trump was an actor and he's also in the celebrity realm but in hollywood and um in these um high places people do stage events um in order to push a narrative towards an agenda i don't know if trump would have stooped that low to do that um i am not trump nor his team but anyways i want you to let me know if you think this is real or if this is fake do you feel sorry for trump are you going to support him are you going to support biden like what's your thoughts let me know below comment and if there are any other videos that you want me to react to or comment on just hit me up down below in the comments thank you so much for visiting my channel i do appreciate it don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye bye